Hey guys, it's Kayla from Journey Dog Training and I'm laughing because I just recorded an awesome video for you guys on how to feed your dog through a muzzle and I didn't hit play, so we get to do it all over again. <laughs> so, um, let's see. We are gonna start out with the muzzle that I use, all right? Sit. Barley loves his muzzle and you guys are gonna see why here in a second. I use the Baskerville Ultra Muzzle. They do not sponsor me. Although if you purchase it from the link on my blog, I get like a dollar um, from Amazon. So if you are going to purchase a muzzle and would like to purchase um, off of my blog, that does give me a little bit of kickback and I really appreciate it. That's how I fund all these videos <laughs> um, and keep this content coming to you guys. So, um, you know, go for it if that's what you're into. Otherwise, you know, no hard feelings. Go ahead and purchase it off Amazon, purchase it off Craigslist. I don't care. Muzzle your dog if your dog needs a muzzle. Barley is muzzle trained largely for demonstration purposes and also, you know, just on the off chance that like something terrible happens and he's in a lot of pain and I'm concerned he might bite me or the vet. Um, and if I already have him muzzle trained, I can safely put him in that muzzle right away and it is at least one thing that is not new and stressful to him in that already obviously stressful situation. So, um... That's why Barley is muzzle trained. You might choose to muzzle train your dog because they have a bad habit of eating rocks and if they get one more GI surgery, they could die. Um, you, you know, I've met dogs like that. I've heard of dogs dying because of that. Um, you might choose to muzzle your dog because your dog is not friendly and you wanna use it as a warning and a deterrent to other people. You might muzzle your dog because your dog actually is a serious bite risk and you're keeping people safe. Either way, I love seeing muzzles because it is a sign that you are doing your best to keep your dog and the people and dogs around you safe. So, I love muzzles. I particularly love basket muzzles, these guys, because you can feed your dog through the bars. If you guys have a weirdly shaped dog, if you've got a Frenchie, Pug, Whippet, Sighthound, Bull Terrier, all those weird shaped dogs, go ahead and click on to Journey Dog Training. I've got a blog post right now that is currently the six best muzzles for um, strangely shaped dogs or something like that. I'll have a link below. Um, it might change as I go forward because I keep coming up with new face shapes and new muzzles that I need to add to the list. So who knows, by the time you guys get to it, it might be seven or eight muzzles. Um, but the big thing is we want to be able to feed our dogs through the muzzle. So to get your dog used to wearing a muzzle, that is a whole other video, but I will give you guys the very, very briefest introduction here. Um, if my dog lets me because he's so excited to put his muzzle on. Um, I start by smearing peanut butter or almond butter inside of the muzzle. So we have some almond butter here. We use almond butter in our house because my boyfriend is allergic to peanuts and peanut butter will kill him. And we don't want that. So we have some almond butter just here on my finger. And I'm gonna go ahead and smear that just on the inside of the muzzle, um, on those bars, kind of basically where his nose is gonna go. I don't wanna smear it, you know, like way up here where his face, you know, like this part of his face, cause he can't get to that. That's not very nice. So, and then I'm just gonna hold it out like this where you guys can see it hopefully. And he's licking away. This is awesome. And I'm going to go ahead and clip this on him right away because Barley is already muzzle trained. If your dog is not over already muzzle trained and they have never worn a muzzle before, do not clip it on right away. <laughs> You're going to do a lot of ins and outs and close fast repeats um, with the muzzle before you ever clip it on. So oh, let me tight. I'm just gonna take a second to tighten this and make sure it fits properly. Get all his border collie fur out. So, Barley is now wearing his muzzle. You guys can't see him though. So, one of my first methods for feeding a dog who's wearing a muzzle is I have a dental stick here. You guys can use a pretzel stick, something else thin that you can smear that almond butter right on it. And then you can get it in between the bars of your muzzle. Um, I like this better than using your fingers for obvious reasons. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and get Barley back in frame here so that you guys can see how this works in action. So come on, bud. Sit. Sit. And then we can go ahead and slot this right through the bars. He can lick away, lick, lick, lick. Stop. So high five. Good. Shake. Good. 
And you can dole out those treats, um, just like you were training with a dog who wasn't wearing a muzzle. <laughs> High five. Good. Boop. Good. There you go. So that's one option. I really like that option. Um, works with nice creamy treats. Option number two, my favorite option is easy squeeze cheese. Easy cheese, squeeze cheese, I don't know. I'm not sponsored, obviously. Um, this stuff is great, it is terrible for your dog. Um, but if you're using it in small quantities, relatively infrequently, um, it's a really, really great option. If you guys have a dog who has allergies, find something else, obviously. But um, I really like this because it is nice and transportable, so. Arlie's cleaning every last bit of almond butter off the inside of his muzzle right now. Boop. Good. And I can get this through the bars of that muzzle pretty easily. Sit. Downside is training is a lot slower. But this is why Barley loves his muzzle. It is the only time he gets squeeze cheese. So that is a basic demo of how to feed a dog through a muzzle. So the big thing here is I've got this. I can push down on this and that releases the cheese, right? For those of you who are not familiar. And then I just slot that through the bars of the muzzle. I would recommend trying and practicing this when your dog isn't wearing the muzzle at first. Um, cause it can be kind of tricky. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off of him and then let him continue cleaning it out. So you guys are going to continue hearing some slurping just cause I like continuing to teach him that his muzzle is awesome. So he is going to be able to, he's still got his nose in it because he's cleaning it out. Um, so for dogs with allergies or, um, you know, things where you don't want to be using squeeze cheese, cause I totally understand that that is not very helpful, healthy for your dogs. Um, you might get some bad gas. Again, dogs with allergies, not a great option. So if um, you don't want to be using squeeze cheese for whatever reason, what I recommend is using, um, you know, like the travel shampoo bottles or an empty syringe. You can buy them on Amazon for nothing, basically. I mean, like a couple bucks. Um, and then you can fill those with whatever spreadable yumminess um, your dog enjoys. So you can use your free, your uh, your ground raw food in um, in a big enough gauge syringe, or not not like a needle syringe, like a you know like one you would use to like clean out your wisdom teeth. That's the only thing I can think of that I used it for, or to, like irrigate a wound, um, or in that shampoo bottle. You can get something like that in there. You can also use applesauce, yogurt, cream cheese, peanut butter, you know whatever it is, as long as it's spreadable, lickable, and your dog likes it and it fits within their allergy. Um, or dietary restrictions, go for it. Um, I've talked to my dog, my vet briefly about the easy, the easy cheese, just to make sure that I wasn't recommending something that was just terrible for dogs. Obviously, it's not great. It's not good for people either. Um, but it, she, she gave me the green light personally for me and my dog. I've also used whipped cream before. Um, just you know, if you're really concerned, give a call to your vet. You know, let them know what your dog is eating, what your dog's weight is like, what their allergies are. Um, and how much of this you're expecting to give them, and they will be able to give you a much more expert opinion on that. But I do know that that is going to be a concern for some of you guys. So just keep in mind that if you want to go for purchasing a syringe or a travel shampoo tube, you can fill that with whatever healthy, tasty to food you like. And then you can just squeeze that right through to feed your dog while they're wearing their muzzles, which is a super important part of muzzle training to teach your dog to like to wear the muzzle and probably any training that you were planning on doing while your dog is wearing the muzzle because if you're trying to work with an aggressive dog or a dog that has a habit of eating things and you're trying to teach them not to do those unwanted behaviors you are going to be wanting to reward them using something super duper tasty so that is that go ahead like share subscribe all that good stuff um i am kayla from journey dog training and this is barley and we will see you guys again soon